Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Jyotnika and this is Natural Vibration. This is a reading about what does your person want to tell you at this moment. We got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. I'm getting drawn towards pile number two myself, so we'll see what comes up. Pile number one, two, three, and I will see you at your pile. All right, pile number one. Welcome. Let's see what your person wants to tell you at this time. Communication letter. Mm -hmm. Messenger of coins, which is basically setting goals, grounded, study of magic, world card, good news, faithful, laying a foundation. Reckless, hasty, hyper, jealous, holding a grudge, release pain, end of suffering, resist, uh, resisting the inevitable end, recovery, uh, but it's basically ten of swords reversed. I'll get to these later. I want to hug you so tight, hold you in my arms until my soul heals. I think we need this separation to work on ourselves to become better for each other. I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge my energy with yours in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself, so I think that comes under there. It's pretty similar. My inner child was wounded when my parents couldn't respond to me in the way I needed them to. I am reacting from that wound. I never forgotten about about you even though you think I have. I'm a much better person because of you. I'm not the same person you remember. And now for these cards, what is your person dealing with currently? Sell out. Jesus, that card is kind of creepy. Irresponsible, going with this reckless energy. Non-action. Hmm, pile number one. So your person is kind of going through it right now. <clears throat> they don't want this connection to end. So I'm assuming you guys are in no contact at the moment, um, and or maybe limited contact. From If that is, doesn't resonate, this may not be your pile. This person does want to talk to you, all right? They do want to make some kind of an offer to you, but they are realizing that they have not sort of been um, very good to you in the past, right? They, have, they tend to have uh, be a little reckless, they tend to be a little bit hasty, like they'll, uh, like they'll suddenly show up and offer you something and then uh, maybe not follow through on the plan. Um, so I think the reason they may not be reaching out right now is because they're trying not to be that person. They definitely don't want this connection to be over, uh, but they are trying, you know, you've got irresponsible sellout and non-action. This is what they're dealing with. This is what their shadows are. They tend to be reckless. They tend to be irresponsible and do things without thinking it through, good or bad. Um, they feel like a sellout and that comes from an inner child wound that is getting triggered by, you know, by knowing you. This is something from, you know, from their childhood that is getting triggered. And uh, they also suffer from inaction, which means they, they may be too scared to take action because again, they are not fully sure what they can offer you. I, they do believe that this separation is needed because right now they need to work on themselves. They need to work on these issues and I, maybe you also have to work on certain issues, which is why the separation or if you aren't in separation, they might be coming up for a bit because it is needed. Just because you are in separation doesn't mean that your person doesn't think about you. They're telling you that they have changed a lot since they have met you, uh, that you encourage them and uh, you sort of push them to be better. And when someone pushes us to be better, we also tend to react in a negative way. We tend to get a bit um, hostile towards them, you know, because uh, we don't want to let go of our past ways, right? We don't want to change. We want to sometimes be that reckless uh, person, but this, but they are realizing that you are forcing them to be good and sometimes that's too much for them. 
even though you guys may not be in communication or whenever you guys are not talking they still want you to kind of to know that they are thinking about you and that they do believe you have a very healing effect on them that you know by being in your presence by being close to you they're sort of getting their inner child wounds being soothed something about their child or something about the pain or that gap that is within them gets sort of uh, filled or soothed out in your presence and that is why you know it is very they really really want you in their life is just that right now may not be the right time with the communication card and the messenger coin i am also getting that maybe for some of you they might randomly want reach out even though they are not doing it right now and because they don't want this connection to end right um but uh, I feel like uh, because they have that hasty kind of knight of wands kind of energy in and out, you know, all of that, uh, they may randomly just show up and uh, communicate or try to offer you something or, you know, any of those things. And uh, it may not go very, and they may be out of your life as quickly as they came in. So just sort of kind of keep um, that in the back of your mind because uh, they, may, they may kind of just show up out of the blue. Uh, and uh, need you. I think they need a little bit of physical intimacy and need your energy around them to heal them. Um, you know, even though they know it may not be the right thing to do because it kind of leads you on. Uh, but there is a bit I'm feeling that maybe they might you know, take some action in a very like you know out of the blue kind of way. So yeah. Pile number one, this is what your person needs to tell you. If you like this reading, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye. All right, pile number two, welcome to your reading. This is what is your person want to say to you at this moment. Let's have a look. We've got rising above. By the way, I chose this pile two. I don't know what it says. I haven't seen the card. Rising above, ability, strategy, transition, far-reaching vision. Interesting. Albatross, good omen, calm, or baggage or burden, Let's, or regret. Karma, fate. Destiny, synchronicity. Interesting. Let me put that down. There we go. The fool. Messenger of wands. Lovable, rogue, free, player type energy. The, oh, wait, hold on. We'll get to that later. Messages from your counterpart. A connection is going through a test of patience. Please don't give up on me. <laughs> I'm suffering the consequences of my wrongdoing. Karma, I got two karma. Look at the synchronicity, guys. This person is getting some karma. I'm sorry, I will never lie to you again. I can't lose you over and over again. You might have had multiple cycles with this person of coming in, going back, communication, non-communication. I know I definitely have, so that definitely resonates. I'm listening to my higher self now. It amazes me when we say the same things at the same time. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my abundance and openness. When I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me. We will be together again. Wow. And my heart is telling me just do it. Where do I keep these? I put it like that. Can you see it? Yeah. Now this is what your person is dealing with. Their shadows. Ruthless, yeah, this person tends can be quite cold, quite ruthless, and this is something that they need to work on. <laughs> I know. Guys, didn't I just say cold? Wow, I didn't see the cards, I promise. My guy definitely does that shit. <laughs> well, the good news is if you are resonating with this so far, and this person has been cold to you, mean to you, ruthless to you, which my person definitely has. <laughs> They're getting some karma, so yay. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Yay. No, no. Um, so basically, this person is, I think the universe is teaching this person a lesson right now. Um, 
they need to you know they tend to get very cold and ruthless and that is something that they need to work through um, they're trying to kind of uh, see rise above the situation because they are facing some consequences now this could be with another person this could be generally in other aspects of their life or it could just be the universe now trying to teach this person a lesson and being like look enough is enough you know you need to kind of get your shit together you know um, this person does acknowledge that this is not over so if you know uh, if you think this connection is over they don't believe that uh, they do feel like you guys will come back together so I feel like you guys might have gone through various cycles of this it's like it feel it's like it's the same thing, repetitive, right? It's happening over and over again. Right now, you're, again, you're going through it. They realize that this is, you know, a, you know, they may have lied to you, they may have deceived you, and this, I feel like this is something they have done before many times, and uh, maybe now they're finally suffering the consequences, or maybe they're finally realizing that they can't keep doing this. There is some shame, guilt coming up, and they're trying to see this from an up, you know, from a very higher standpoint where look you can't keep doing this to people and expecting them to just keep taking you back you can't be this ruthless person and expect that person to be like all right you know thank you for coming back and thanks because you love me blah 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 you know um they are facing this and they are realizing that they can't keep doing this now whether this is going to make them change their behavior in the future who knows right they do want to start something new and they do kind of want to reach out you know maybe come towards you with a little bit of passion uh, but it's again a messenger is like a page energy so it's a small you know nothing major they do realize this connection is deep you know they do realize that there is something in this connection that is deeper than what they are saying it is uh, I think one of the reasons your person acts the way that they do is because a part they have this childhood wound where they don't feel they're good enough. Their family may have had less money, maybe they have less money, whatever the case may be. There is this feeling of them not uh, having everything, not giving every, you know, not feeling like they can give you everything. Sorry, uh, not fe feeling like they can't. Uh, they can't match up to you basically but they do feel very connected to you and see the you know ah, the universe sorry i dropped the card um, the universe is guiding them you know right now the universe is guiding them and telling them what they need to do hence you know the whole i think there is a big lesson that's going to come come into play and this person needs to learn this lesson but they do feel this connection you know these two cards are telling me they feel this deeper connection with you even if they're not willing to admit it they do think that you guys will come back together they know that what they're doing a part of them knows that what they're doing the lies the games whatever it is they're doing that it's not right they do know that they know th they know that this is not the right way to behave with somebody but it's not stopping them from behaving that way right so the universe is like you know you need to be taught a lesson so yeah this is what your person is speak you know feeling at this moment i want to tell you um i hope this resonated and uh, just know that there is some lessons coming into play so i think it is best to give this person a little bit of space if you are in no communication or even if you are because they need to sort of learn a few lessons you know all right file number two i hope this was helpful please do like and subscribe to my channel take care All right, pile number three. Welcome. This is what messages your person has for you today and what they would like to tell you. So let's see what we have. Ah, uh -huh. yes, spring. This is a lovely card. New beginnings, fresh growth, fertile, uh, fertility, new cycles. This is nice. Snowflake, perfect, precise. Handle carefully, de detailed, exquisite, unique, relent, backing down, avoid conflicts, compromise. Okay, there might be some compromise. 
Wow, look at you've got a good, you've got the best pile so far. <laughs> Two of Cups, loving energy, death, external changes, transformation. All right, we'll get to that later. I can cross a million bridges just to meet you again. I'm sorry I pushed you away. Yeah, there seems to be a change in the wind here. My soul still remembers your touch. Your, your, your touch is magical. I want to kiss you again. I need to move slowly with this, but trust that I am moving even when it seems like I am not. Please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. I'm assessing past life wisdom. It's helping me understand perspective, new perspective. Please don't give up. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Yeah, there's a lot of time needed. They're taking some of their sweet time. I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. And this is what your person is currently working on. Their shadows, insecure. Okay, that makes sense silenced they feel like on speak judgmental secondary mm, wow so i feel this person is i have a very heavy energy overall huh but i feel your person at least is um is wanting to kind of change the situation i feel like um they might have done something you know maybe their ego was in place Maybe you guys are not in, talk, not in communication, you had an argument, break up, whatever the case may be. But they want to change that. And with the death, which is all about change, they might actually take some action to change the situation. They want to get back together with you, two of cups. They want to compromise. They want to make amends. They realize this connection is very fragile but also very precious and they want a new beginning with you. Simple as that. You've got the best reading. <laughs> I wish I had chosen this pile. Um, yeah, but, but, they still have to deal with their issues and I feel like that's what they're dealing with. They feel judged. They feel like they're not good enough. They feel insecure. They feel like they can be replaced. They feel silent. I feel, again, these are all things probably from their karmic ties, from their childhood, where they feel like they're not good enough. They feel like they can't, uh, they can't, uh, yeah, that they're not good enough. Secondary, they feel secondary. They feel insecure. Apologies. Of course, the computer has to make a noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I need to move slowly with this, but trust. So, you know, they want to reach out, right? Their soul remembers them. They're feeling very romantic. They're all in their field. But they may not, they may not move as quickly as you want them to feel, or to move because they still feel very damaged. Like they want this, right? This is what they really, really want. But this is what's holding them back. You know, they're telling you, please don't take things seriously. Uh, personally, sorry, it's not you, it's them. And uh, they are damaged because, you know, they're feeling this. But they're telling you, please don't give up. You see this, it's like I'm moving slowly, I'm moving slowly, I'm trying. Please don't, you know, please contact me. Of course, it's up to you if you feel you need to or not. Um, if you do, maybe they won't respond, you know. So, but they're telling you why. They need time. All right, this person wants to be with you. This person wants change. This person is realizing that uh, they they can't keep fighting. They want to compromise. But at the same time, they have a lot of stuff they need to get through. And it's definitely not about you. It's not that you have done anything wrong, if that is a feeling you have. It is them. And they are moving towards you. It may be a bit slower than what you want, but I do feel this person is moving towards you and they want to eventually communicate or get back together. So I would give this person some time, maybe send them some energetic love. Even if you don't want to you know, physically speak to them in the 3D, send them some 5D love. Um, perhaps not judge them too much for their actions because they do feel judgmental. They do feel like, you know, that 
what they're doing is not right and it probably isn't but energetically they may feel like you're going to keep judging them so they can't make a move yeah just seeing if there's anything else they want to get yeah i mean it's really simple they want to come back then i feel eventually they will they may just take a little bit of time it's not you it's them and they need to deal with it all right, file number three. I hope this was helpful. If you like my channel, please do like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.